30 seconds. In 1969, Neil Armstrong stepped onto the lunar surface and into the history books as the first of only 12 men to walk on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But in 1961, when Kennedy pledged to put a man on the moon, NASA had barely put a man into orbit. It was a pretty wide shock. Suddenly, we were leapfrogging from one man in Earth orbit to three men going quarter of a million miles to the moon and back. NASA had less than 10 years to train a team of astronauts to overcome the unknown challenges of a mission to the moon. Could a human being survive in this incredibly harsh environment? Nobody knew what the physical and psychological effects of spaceflight would be. Not only did the astronauts have to learn how to travel across the void of space, they needed to learn how to land on the moon and come back again. But for NASA, planting flags and footprints was not enough. It's really important for all astronauts that were going to walk on the lunar surface to do full mission simulations, learning how to collect lunar samples, how to run the experiments, how to take a good photograph. So practice, practice, and more practice was key. Three, two, one. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. We're talking about an achievement which is right on the limit of what could be achieved even today. They had determination, they weren't going to give up when challenges emerged. And ultimately, they became the only human beings to have explored another world. This film tells the incredible story of how NASA trained America's best pilots to fly to the moon and take one giant leap for mankind. Beautiful view. Magnificent flight out here.